uh, congratulations on the movie. I saw it. Yes, I thought it was great. Um, you. You, you seem to be working on projects that are all quite kind of different to the other. I just wonder what your kind of process is like in terms of taking on roles and films. Are you kind of sort of consciously sort of striving to try new things or are you just following whatever the, the best stories and characters are and seeing what happens? Yeah, I mean, I'm always up for a challenge. I kind of always look for something to challenge me and new things. Um, I think my main thing is always just to do something new and, and to put myself up for something new. Um, I think my process is really just to dive in completely into the character and and talk to the writers and directors about it to get a clear vision. And then obviously on set, we kind of just do whatever. But I always love a challenge, something new and see see what I can do. In terms of that, I mean, something new, I mean, it's quite unique just to be working, I guess, with one actor in, in a movie. How was that kind of process for you and kind of effectively just having one screen partner for a whole project? Yeah, I mean, this was my my first time doing something with kind of a one on one situation. I, I didn't know what to expect. Obviously, working with Adam Driver was incredible in itself, but I was really excited to see how that dynamic was going to go and just, you know, going on set and having one castmate. But it was really cool and really great. And our main goal was just to make something really cool. And I hope we did that. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely cool. Can you can you recall the first time you met Adam and subsequently kind of how you guys formed this relationship that we see on screen? Yeah, exactly. So I met Adam kind of the first week when I was in New Orleans. Um, I was so nervous. I, I was extremely nervous. I was like, I was like, okay, you know, just do what you do best. Just, you know, be present, be there, whatever. So we're in this like big room on this sound stage and you know Scott and Brian walk in and I go hi and I, nice to see you guys in person because obviously I've seen them on zoom so many times and then I met Adam in person I was like hey Mariana and I was just like nervous and I was 13 and I've you know uh, he's incredible as we know he's brilliant so meeting him was intimidating but it all it all worked out and it was really exciting yeah, I mean, of course, it, 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 he might have been the only kind of human actor, but you've got to work alongside other different uh, creatures, I suppose, in this. What, what was kind of on hand for you guys as actors to work with? I mean, I know there's that kind of old myth, not myth, but that kind of um, system of having a tennis ball on a stick and stuff. What did you guys use to in those situations? You nailed it. That's exactly that, That's exactly what we used. It was a bright neon green tennis ball. And they were like, OK, look here. Um, they either had like a storyboard picture of what exactly we'd be looking at or a rough sketch of what it might be. Um, and then Adam and I really just had to use our imagination and we had to picture this ginormous dinosaur or a little one or whatever the creature in that moment would be. Um, so yeah, it was a tennis ball and a lot of imagination and it was great. It definitely exercised my imagination skills for sure. Have you seen the film? Since have you seen it yet? And what's it like seeing it come to life? Because I guess what you see on screen is so different to what you would have experienced when you were yeah. on, in that stage. For sure, I I saw the film uh, a rough draft of it a little while ago, um, and it was so crazy because I haven't revisited the the environment and the character for so long, because I filmed this this movie almost three years ago. So it was so cool to see everything again, and all the memories were coming back, and I was like, oh, I remember that. But it's hard for me to watch myself because I'm always just thinking about what was actually happening in the moment. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I remember that day there was a huge storm and we just had to make it work. Or just like little stories I like am secretly thinking about while I'm watching it. But it was crazy and it was so cool. And, and I'm so proud of everyone a part of it. They really made it come together nicely. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time. So best luck with the release of the film. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!